Ukraine blitzed Russian soldiers with a flamethrower drone to wipe them out of their positions. The Sun Media Outler reported this. An flamethrower drone belonging to the Ukrainian army set fire to the forest strip where the soldiers of the invading Russian army were positioned. The images were distributed on Telegram channels. The forest strip was destroyed by the fire of the drone, incredible footage shows a Ukrainian FPV drone raining down flesh-melting thermite on a tree line understood to be occupied by Russian troops. The drone can be seen flying low just above the tree line as it throws flames to burn and wipe pit enemy positions. Large plumes of smoke can be seen billowing from the trees as the Ukrainian drone blitzed Russian troops with the flamethrower. Russia's state polling agencies acknowledge a surge in discontent among Russians with Russian President Vladimir Putin. This was reported by the American Institute for the Study of War, ISW. The Public Opinion Foundation published a survey conducted on the 25th of this month. It showed that 28% of respondents expressed indignation or dissatisfaction with the actions of the Russian authorities. This is more than 25% and 18% in the surveys that the foundation conducted on August the 11th and 27th, respectively. The ISW noted that respondents to public opinion have not expressed such high levels of dissatisfaction since a survey conducted in November 2022 after the first month of partial mobilization in Russia. At the same time, Russia's state-run VTSIOM pollster noted that Putin's approval rating fell from 77.1% to 73.6% between August the 12th and 18th. That's a record drop even among Kremlin pollsters since the start of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the ISW writes. The latest VTSIOM poll conducted on August the 30th showed a further decline in Putin's approval rating from 73.6% to 72.4% in the period from August the 19th to the 25th, 2024. Analysts noted that polls by Russian state agencies do not indicate any particularly pronounced discontent and are not a reliable reflection of the real mood in Russian society. However, these polls indicate that the Kremlin considers it necessary to acknowledge that public discontent has grown since the start of the Ukrainian armed forces operation in the Kursk region. The Kremlin is likely hoping that limited recognition of public discontent will protect it from accusations that it is ignoring Russian society's concerns about the situation in the Kursk region. The Kremlin appears to have mounted a sophisticated information campaign aimed at explaining to its domestic audience why Russia prioritizes continued offensive operations in eastern Ukraine over the immediate expulsion of Ukrainian forces from the Kursk region and limited acknowledgement of discontent may be part of this campaign. The report concluded. Let us recall that the Ukrainian Defense Forces have been conducting an operation in the Kursk region for almost four weeks. Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Alexander Sirsky, reported that Ukrainian soldiers control 100 settlements in the Kursk region. In addition, 594 Russian soldiers were captured as part of the operation. In the following days, the Ukrainians' successes did not end. 
According to the latest information from August the 30th, the Ukrainian armed forces have advanced another two kilometers in the Kursk region. There is also a replenishment of the exchange fund. Sirsky reported this during a meeting of the Supreme Commander-in-Chief's headquarters.